trigger trigger warning for some racial slurs here. Um, and uh, we're gonna we're gonna watch uh, what happens here. Um, in a very cathartic way. Oh fuck your mama, nigga! Fuck your mama! You're not gonna pop up. I live on 400 I Prime, two blocks away. I'm a, I, and you know it's crazy. You know it's crazy. I'm gonna walk to you. I'm gonna walk right to my house for you, bro. Oh God, I'm not trying to disrespect you, bro. I'm not. I'm gonna say this all day, all every day. Are you kidding me? Where you from, nigga? Where you from? Where you, you from? Pop up. Where the fuck you from, here, nigga? You from here? Get the fuck out of here, you a clown, nigga. Oh God, you a clown, nigga. You from here? You a clown. What, you gonna smack oh. me with that? Smack me. Smack me. Smack me, nigga. Come on, get drop it. Oh. Oh. Yeah, you got yours, buddy. Call me another fucking nigga. I don't give a fuck. Hey, man, you got you learn, you learn this lesson, man. No to Call me another nigga. Ain't no to find him out. Call me another fucking nigga. Okay. 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 Good. 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 I don't blame you, dude. You're good. You're good. Like, you can tell. Like, that, that expression right there, as blurry as it might look, right? This guy... This guy did not want to do that. This guy did not want to get into a fight. He did not want to step to this white boy uh, making making a scene here, uh, sw like yelling racial slurs at the at the uh, at the clerk here, and then like repeatedly yelling a racial slur in this man's face, like. Literally everyone in that store was on his side. Like you, you can hear, you can hear in that video, like somebody just like deck him, like a millisecond before it actually happened. The guy was literally asking for it to happen, and like, hey, hey, if you're white. Don't go around shouting racial slurs for groups that you don't belong to. How about that? How about that as a general rule of thumb? Don't do that. You know? You got a right to free speech. Other people gonna clap you, okay? If you're in public shouting racial slurs. And you're gonna- you're- you're gonna deserve it. Yeah, just don't say racial slurs at all. Just try- look- Guys, I'm never going to let an N-word slip out of my mouth. You know why I'm not going to let that happen? Because I don't say them. I don't say it in private. I don't go around secretly saying, like, uh, racial slurs in my non-stream time and go, like, and, like, teehee, I got away with saying a racial slur and nobody got mad. It's just not a part of my vocabulary. I don't understand why other people feel it's necessary to, like, incorporate them into their own vocabulary. You know, you can get along... Pro, pro tip, guys, you can get along through your entire life without needing to use a racial slur. Even one time. Even one time. You don't need it. You don't... You don't need them. Holy shit. Uh, just if you're white, isn't that racist? I mean... The general rule of thumb that I put forward is, hey, don't use racial slurs for a group you're not a part of. Does that apply to uh, black people using racial slurs for other groups, too, that aren't black? Yeah. Yeah, it does. If it's a group that you belong to, then you have the right to reclaim that word and make it into something that isn't a slur. You said if you're white, I misunderstood you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I get it. But, like, it, and, like, here, 
just as like a general rule of thumb though like there aren't a ton of racial slurs for white people because white people have been the ones inventing the racial slurs you know so just like i don't i don't know like go around saying cracker if you're white or something like that i i, I don't know like is, is is cracker even like a meaningful racial slur to white people i've never I'll, let me put it this way i've never heard a racial slur towards white people that i was like damn that was offensive you know uh the very idea of white privilege is racist no it's not there there are privileges for being a part of every group there's white privilege in some cases there's black privilege in some cases there is uh like a queer privilege uh there there are all kinds of different privileges you know, things that are acceptable for one group to do in a society that are not acceptable for another group. It's not, it's not that complicated. And you know what? If you were in China, there would be like Han Chinese privilege versus um, like the other ethnic group privilege. Privilege exists everywhere. That's just like a nature of society. Well, and Taco Cat, it's not obviously that in all situations white people are privileged. It's just that in the so in the society that was like structured primarily by white people in power, white people have inherent privileges in that society that generally, um, you know, are more meaningful and more impactful than the privileges afforded to other groups in society. So, like. Uh, like you, you could, you could, for example, say that an element of like black privilege would be like saying the N word. You get the N word pass, right? Like, I, I mean, it's not like that impactful in society, right? Um, but like on the flip side, if you're white, you're much less likely to get shot by a police officer. Um, yeah, like the same way, like if you're black in China, you have like different privileges than you might hear just because society has different expectations and different like allowances for different groups depending on the society oh come on you think that black people would be like uh totally worth being black because i get to say the n-word no i'm just saying that that would be an example of like a privilege a privilege doesn't necessarily mean that it's like impactful like i i just got done saying like it's not a big impactful thing but like yeah, the reason this guy in this video got hit was because he doesn't have that black privilege. He doesn't have the privilege to say, like, black racial slurs. Yeah, I pee a lot. I'm using it in, like, an ac in a more academic sense, okay? Like, obviously, it's not like... It's not like, oh man, I want to change my race so that I can be black, so that I can say the N-word, right? Like, it's not, it's not all-encompassing, um, but it is an example of how different groups of people have different abilities in our society. Um, but, yeah, I mean, like, in, when, under, under colonial rule in India, for example, yeah, white, white British people had privilege over Indian, like, uh, colon the colonized Indians, yeah. Different groups in different societies have different privileges. So, like, yeah. I, I don't know. I don't view it as a particularly complicated topic. It's just that I think a lot of people hear the language that goes along with these kinds of discussions, and they tend not to, like, they tend to bristle at it, right? Like, the idea that, like, a white person might be more privileged than, like, a black person, for example, uh can really get under the skin of some white people who are struggling really hard. And privilege does privilege in the sense that I'm using it in this conversation doesn't mean that 
you are um, you are having an easy time. It just means that within our society, you have a you have different um, access to different things. You can think of it like a video game. You're you're a slightly different class. You know, you're you're a you're a you know you're you're a you're a fighter instead of a, a you know a rogue. You're you're a uh, paladin instead of a sorcerer. You know, you, you have different abilities. And in some cases, there are some overpowered classes in our society uh, that have more abilities, more meaningful ones. And you have some underpowered classes in our society that are underpowered and have a much rougher time making it through the game even if you're in the exact same conditions as somebody who is more privileged. Um, not a good metaphor for oppression. Yeah, I know. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm trying to do my best. Sometimes, I'm, sometimes my metaphors are not good. 